guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would do something fun that isn't a plan with me and is really fun for me because I get to open it and you guys get to watch me open it. We're gonna do an unboxing. So this is the Plum Paper Planner subscription box. Um, it's kind of like the Erin Condren subscription box where they do like a seasonal little fun planner box for those that want to sign up. Uh, I know Erin Condren's is pretty popular. I don't use an Erin Condren though, so I've never had one of their subscriptions. So this will be my first like real legit planner subscription box. And since I use a plum paper planner, I figured might as well give it a try. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the little description that they have on their website about the plum box, so that way you know the details on that. So it says, the plum box is a seasonal subscription box filled with tools to keep you organized. Contents within each box are exclusive to the plum box and are designed to correlate with every season throughout the year. Each plum box includes products with $90 plus in value for only $44 per box plus free shipping. So, supposedly there's $90 worth of things in this box and it costs $44 and comes with free shipping. Uh, this is the spring box, so I assume it's going to be springy. Um, this is a little bit late. I know they've kind of already started shipping these boxes out, but per, per me, I'm late to the party, but I'm going to film it anyways. So let's go ahead, enough talking, enough talking, more opening, right? I hate when people take too long to open boxes. Ooh, hopefully I don't hit my camera. Okay, boom. There's a little card that covers all the things that are in the box. Hi, we're so happy to share with you our favorite plum box yet. The items in this plum box were specifically designed to make your day-to-day -day planning fresh, fun, and beautiful. We hope you love it as much as we do. Here's to a happy, organized, Spring. Okay, comes with all these things. Look at all the things. You, let's see the things. Let's get to it. Tissue paper, sticker, pretty, yay. Ah. Okay, so the first thing I'm kind of drawn to is this thing right on top. So it looks like there's three mini bookmarks. Uh, snap and bookmark details. Attaching and removing to attach a bookmark. Snap each slit onto the coil. To remove your bookmark, peel from the top corner coil and pull down. Let's open them. Right? Let's see these bad boys. I'm hoping they're made out of the same stuff that the covers are made out of because, and of course I didn't bring a plum paper planner upstairs with me to film, but they their covers are made out of like this, uh, like plastic. I had to like test it. So yeah, it is made, it's not paper. It's made out of the same, I don't think it's as thick, although it might be on um, the same material. There's a piece of paper stuck to my finger as their covers, which is that durable plastic. It's not paper. So that means that these little guys are gonna last. So I love that, I will totally use this and I love all the patterns that they provided. Yeah, I'll use the crap out of these. That's for sure. Okay, let's set that aside. Next, I'm really drawn to this box. What are you? What are you, box? Pencil holder. How do I open you? So this is an acrylic pencil holder with rose gold accents. And if you say rose gold, I will take it because I love rose gold. It'll match my engagement ring. So yeah, it has a little cork bottom so it won't scratch your desk. And look at that. I'll totally use this. I actually just got a new desk and this will be perfect. So I'll use that too. Okay, now for the not so obvious things that are kind of buried in here. I feel like maybe we'll just start on top. Okay, plum paper sticker pack. Sticker features, stickers include four decorative sticker sheets to be used with your plum paper planner or notebook. 
They are made with repositionable, they're repositionable stickers. Um, are made with an adhesive that allows for sticker repositioning with your planner or notebook. Stickers are printed with a matte finish for a smooth writing surface. You know, this color is really pretty. Like, that's where my eye went first, is this, like, it's like a periwinkle cobalt blue. <sighs> Can I paint my nails that color? That's the color I want. So here's sheet one. Oh, this one's cute. I love the little barbecue and the little uh, sandals and the maracas. Yep, like this. Here's sheet three. And then sheet four. So they are, like, each sheet is different. There's no repeats, even, like, with the decos. The decos are different, which is really nice. Um, I love the little cleaning supplies. Yes, I will use these. I actually really like their deco stickers. And I'm not a deco sticker kind of person. And so I, yeah, it's a whole new experience for me. And I'm not upset about it. So we will close these guys up and set them aside. Next up looks like a journal. It doesn't say anything fancy on the back. Oh, a set of three. Oh, there's three in here. One, two, three. A set of three large perfect bound notebooks, one lined, one dotted, and one graph. I'm gonna guess, let's see if I guess correctly, that the journal, the one that says journal on the front, is a lined notebook. Let's see if I'm right. I'm right. Uh, I like the cover. It has like a, ooh, okay. So it is a plastic cover, like the covers for the planners. However, the cover on this, so those of you that will know what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about, and those that don't know what I'm talking about, I will try to explain it. It's the same texture as the Horizon Blue Academic Passion Planner that was released in 17, the 2017 to, or 2018 to 29, no, 2017 to 2018 school year. The bright blue academic passion planner, it has the same cover as that. And the only way I can describe it to people that don't know what that texture is, it's like petting a dolphin. It's like kind of rubbery, but like not super smooth. Yeah, that's the way I'm gonna describe it, so. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then you're going to have to come touch this. That's all I have to say. Uh, I like the line width. They're not like too, the lines aren't too bold. I hate when lines are just like, it makes you feel like you're in first grade trying to learn how to write. Uh, so I do like that. I like that it has the little, you know, entry page. Yeah, it's a good journal. I'm not the biggest journaler, but I won't say no to more journals. Am I right? That's how we all are. Okay, do we think the notes is graphed or dotted? I'm going to say the notes is graph. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, notes. Oh, dotted. You know, you can't win every time. Um, and I like the dots, they're a little large for my personal preference, but I get, it's kind of hard to print dots because you either can't see them or you can see them. <laughs> um, so they are a little bit large, but they're not like super dark. So I appreciate that. They are a light gray dot, um, same texture, same plastic cover, same little entry page thing. Same great notebook. So of course this Forever Spring Journal has to be the graft one. And I actually really like graft paper. I didn't realize how much I liked graft paper until Passion Planner got rid of the graft paper and replaced it with dot paper. And I like dot paper, but I like graft paper more. I think it's just, um, oh, this is blank. They lied. 
they said that you get one lined, one dotted, one graph. Mm. Mm. This is blank. So that kind of makes me a little bit sad because I was really pumped on a graph paged notepad because I don't know what I would do with a blank one. But I'm sure I can I can doodle in it. I do doodle and sketch and stuff and it could be fun for camping and cuz I want to I don't know. I want to get more artsy. Cuz I really haven't been very, you know, artsy and drawing and what watercoloring and all that. So maybe that's what this will be. So it's not craft, it's blank, but it's still a good notebook. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna save this for last. Okay, pencils. Can't go wrong with pencils. Are there anything special? Nope, six pencils. I mean, pencils are okay. I would prefer mechanical pencils. That's just me. I'm not the biggest pencil person. Eh. It's a meh, you know, whatever. Uh, pen loops, these are really stinking cute. They're like a faux leather pen loop. Everything is child proof that I'm trying to open. Really though, how do I get this open? Here we go. So yeah, they're like a faux leather adhesive pen loop. And they're pretty stretchy. I'm not sure if they'll be big enough to fit larger pens if you can see I'm trying to like angle it because that is a pretty small hole I wonder oh I do have a pair of scissors here let's cut one of these bad boys out okay here's a Muji pen because yeah this this hole seems pretty tiny okay okay fit that on there. It was a little bit of a challenge, but obviously this isn't really like adhered to anything. Um, I don't have any like really fat pens up here. This Micron's like the biggest pen I have up here right now. Am I right? Oh, there is. Hold on. I have my case of pens up here. I don't actually film in my craft room because Space wise, all the lighting setup is just kind of a pain. Okay, we're gonna skip the Pigma. We're gonna go for the Paper Mate because, as someone that sells pen loops, if it doesn't fit this guy, people are gonna tell you and they're gonna have a lot of opinions about it. So, if there's one pen it needs to fit, it's the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen and I'm gonna tell you right now that it is putting up a fight. It's mainly because of this grip right here. Oh okay okay I got it on there. It might take you know some some stretching out. Pen loops will stretch out a little bit the more you use them so it fit. It wasn't pretty but it fit so okay. I'll take it and I'll totally use these pen loops. They're adorable and I want a million of them. Next up, it looks like we have a bunch of note cards. There's four of them, four celebratory note cards and envelopes. Happy Easter, which Easter's already passed, so eh. My lovely mom, that would be really cute to give her when we get married, when Ian and I get married write her a little note. She's gonna cry the entire time, the whole wedding. She's just all day gonna be crying. So let's make her cry a little bit more, right? <laughs> and write her a note. <laughs> um, happy Father's Day. Gonna send that one to my mom too. And it's your birthday. You know, Julia's birthday is coming up. Let's go ahead and open one of these guys and see how they feel. I'm sure they're just printed on like regular paper, cardstock paper. They are, and they're more like, yeah, they're note cards. They're not actually cards. They're just, they don't like fold open or anything. They're just front and back like that. So, which is cute. And it's kind of um, Plum Paper Planner started, well, Plum Paper started as a stationary company. 
So that's kind of cute that they would like, you know, still continue with how they started. So I do appreciate that. Okay. This thing. Today's plan. A daily notepad includes approximately 50 sheets. I do like this. Just a little notepad has the days of the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, schedules, to do's. How did I do today? How could, how can I do better? It's not sticky, which totally fine by me. Um, I love just little notepads like this. So yeah, and the paper seems nice and it's bright and it's really smooth and it's a good little notepad. Okay, last but not least, let's see if I can get this out without being a total disaster. So this is the tote bag. Uh, put a little spring in your step. That's really cute. It's this really pretty uh, corally orange color. It almost reminds me of the same color for the April if you have like the colorful planner for the April color. It's like the same kind of corally orange. It's really nice. Like it's a really, it's not a cheap tote. It's a nice high quality tote. It has the little bottom, which I really like. I like when tote bags aren't just like a continuous loop and they don't have like structure. You know what I'm trying to say? I like that it has a bottom. It has this little snap enclosure and it has a pocket, which sold. I will use this. So overall, I think I will use all of these things. I really liked everything. The only thing I probably won't use, but it will make good props for pictures is the pencils. But who knows, these pencils could be like really nice writing pencils. I'm just expecting like, you know, the cheap, like Target dollar store pencils that are like the lead breaks and you don't want to use them. I'm hoping they're not like this. They could be actually really nice pencils. I can tell you right now that this green one already has a little crack in it. So <laughs> there's that. But otherwise, everything else I think I'm going to use. So I'm just going to put everything kind of mod podged. Hopefully I can fit it all in this frame. Here's the pencil holder, notepad. We'll put all the notebooks down here. And then of course the sticker book and there's cellophane everywhere. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I can, you know, go into more detail on every item that was in here. Have you signed up for the Plum Paper subscription box? And what did you think? Did you get the April one? Would you love about it? Would you order this? Give me all your thoughts. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.